All right, we're about to put this little radio together. It comes in a kit with everything you need. The instructions, as you can see, uh, the instructions are online. As you purchase the uh, the radio, you'll see the, ins the uh, instructions in the description area of the radio. Um, it's a nice little radio, great for kids. It's a learning experience. Um, you might need an ohm meter to read the ohms on the uh, resistors. Like this one's 0.565, this is supposed to be a 560, and this one's supposed to be a 100. So it's always close, sometimes it's right on the money, but anyway. We're going to go ahead and uh, start. This is the finished product, so let's start and do what we need to do. Okay, as you can see, these little resistors are really tiny and for me to look at the colors and that's what they want you to do is look at the color code and try to figure out what's what but what I did is I used my ohm meter show over here which was another purchase on eBay and was able to figure out how many ohms all these were like this one's a 10k and then you get another 100k, 560, a 10k, 10k. And they actually give you extras, these two extras. And so, with all these parts, and I've got them all spread out, and there's part of the radio here. And uh, basically, it comes with a sheet like this. Like, okay, I'm supposed to do what with this? Um, being that this is my first time, doing something like this and there's the board um, I'm gonna take it step by step first thing I'm gonna do right now is put all the resistors in and then uh, we'll take it from there so let's put our first resistor in and solder it up I'm using this uh, variable temperature soldering iron so I'm gonna use the least amount of heat I can so that uh, I don't do any damage. So here we go. All right, I did a couple already. You can see them right there, right here, and right here. All right, so I'm gonna do a few more here on video just to show you how I'm doing this. All right, here we go. I don't know if you can see this, let's do it. All right, so now I'm gonna chop these off. And let's do one more. So I'm going to do them all, at least all the resistors, then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Alright, well, I think I got them all, at least all the, uh, all the resistors, and now it's just a matter of cutting them. And I'm gonna go on and see what else, what kind of other damage I can do. But I think they're pretty good wells. I took it up to about 275 just so it's a little quicker. Alright, I'm getting ready to weld all the capacitors. I guess they call them capacitors. Let's zoom in real quick. You can, see, you can see they're all sticking out and it's these things here so they're all in there I've got extra parts apparently and so I'm just gonna solder them in and take it from there
One step at a time. All right, now I'm doing the inductors with these little things that look like springs. I'll show them to you in a second here. Let me uh, finish this up. This is the last one. There's three of them. Okay. Um, the reason for this is it keeps everything up. A sponge, anything like this, that keeps whatever you're soldering stays up against the board. But these little springs right here, okay, inductors they call them. Just weld those on. And so let me take it to the next step. All right, well, I'm at the point now where I've got almost everything soldered. Um, there's some wires here that need to be soldered here and here. So I think I'm gonna do that next and I'm close to being done. I think the next video will be a final put together and testing and see what happens, see if I can Either burn it up or make it work. All right. All right, well, I put it all together and nothing. I turn it on, this is what I get. 189.3 and nothing else. No sound, I can't change the channel. I'll do it for you, but there we go. Doesn't change anything. Dead in the water. I've taken it apart twice, looked at all the solder, looked at everything, and nothing. All right, well, come to find out, I was not watching what I was doing on the meter. Um, you have to be real careful because I'm sure you here it says ohms well if it doesn't have the K next to it it's just like a 10 ohm if it has 10 K and then it's a 10 K ohm well I wasn't watching what I was doing and so I had to take it all apart unsolder every resistor and recheck them all and then did it right so now it works like it should not the best sound sounding. Throughout California and Nevada, feel free to compare prices with the big car companies. Paul thinks no happens. Try picking up the. Uh, Today, here on Sunny 106.5. It's not the best sounding radio. But I got it to work finally. So, thank you for watching. the uh, The clock it's got a clock and an alarm. This is the alarm set for 702. You can turn on the alarm right here. You can see the little thing on top go on and off. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then, uh, yeah, it does work. This is the actual time. You can set the hour, set the minutes. Um, but it does work and everything's under control so thank for watching please subscribe i've got many more projects coming up um, i've got a stereo downstairs i gotta work on and i'll show you what i'll have to do to fix it but yeah you know you can get this on ebay i think it's 16 dollars um, i'm sure you can buy this radio for five dollars or three dollars somewhere <laughs> but uh it's an experience it's fun to do and uh, I would recommend it, especially for younger kids. I'm an old man, but um, I'm still learning. So you never know what you can learn from these things. Thanks for watching again. Please subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell next to, down below, down below, I think it's this corner. There's a little bell there. that will tell you when I have a new project coming up. All right. Thank you.